Right then, Ed, you've been for a day of flight training with us. Uh, in fact, you actually watched the webinar about flight training only a couple of days ago, and you got to see someone else give a testimonial, so here's your chance. How did you find today, and do you find it any value? Uh, yeah, value, fantastic. I think I walked into this quite naively, thinking I could fly my little Mini 2. Um, and what today really taught me was there's a lot more to, to these drones than you realise. Um, when we switched off certain settings, it really was quite testing. I've got a lot to go away and practice. Um, I'm thinking of changing careers and getting into the agricultural industry using drones. And today was really about trying to uh, make me understand what's involved, especially for somebody who's trying to self-learn. And so my course with Halo is coming up and I've got a lot more practice to do, but it's been a brilliant day and thank you very much. Did you, you, sent, you mentioned just now about how you came into this thinking that perhaps a bit cocky, yeah. um, there wasn't too much more perhaps you could learn, but then you said that that hasn't been the case. Could you expand on that a bit? Yeah, sure. So I've been taking this out uh, on some private land uh, and I've been able to do some uh, some manoeuvres which are pointed out in, in your flight manoeuvring guide. Um, and because I haven't quite crashed it, I thought I was better than I was. Um, but actually, this does the flying. I didn't do the flying. I just did, pointed it in the right direction. And I think when you disable those features, that's when you actually start to learn, fly, to learn, learn to fly. So it's been a quite a steep learning curve. My head hurts, <laughs> um, but it's been a really good day and I'm gonna go back and there's lots to think about and practice for sure. Thank you very much. No, it's a pleasure.